Um, yeah, so, y'all, look at this. Ooh, I can't even focus. Okay. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Good morning. It is 8.55 in the morning right now in Houston. Um, I've been up since about 7.30. I took Rudy for a walk. Um, we view the neighborhood. Um, and I cleaned up this morning because I just had to get my house in order. It has just been a busy week, a crazy week. Uh, I don't know what's going on type of week. Um, but nonetheless, I know I didn't post for the last two days and that's because I filmed three separate videos, maybe about 30 videos total. And they were too big for me to upload to my computer. So I'm still trying to figure out how to convert those files into smaller, smaller videos so that I could be able to upload them. But nonetheless, we are a week away from Christmas. Okay, so I'm trying to get myself into a morning routine. So I want to wake up a little bit earlier, at least by eight o'clock. Usually I stay in bed till about nine. Um, and then Rudy needs to go outside. So I want to wake up um by eight o'clock take rudy for a walk um clean up do whatever i need to do around the house make myself breakfast because breakfast is very important and then i also want to do some type of workout so i've been walking rudy a little further instead of just around the complex i've been kind of taking him down the street and around the block and maybe about a mile mile and a half i never really take my phone because um i don't want to be focused on the phone i want to be present um but nonetheless um, um, then come back, make myself breakfast, um, plan out my day and then get this thing started. So by nine o'clock, I'm either in the gym, working out, doing something productive. Um, so by 11, 12 o'clock, I can focus on work and getting things done. So that's my plan today. I'm about to make myself breakfast. Um, and it's nine o'clock, so I'm doing pretty good. Um, I decided to do just like, um, the peanut butter and jelly sandwich i think i just might do one bread put it in the toaster and then i'm gonna do my strawberry jam with my almond butter and then i have a banana that i've already started to chomp on it's always rudy doing his little shimmy i don't know what look at this dog so what are you doing rudy what you what you what you doing your back itch your bra too tight your booty shaking for the left to the right ooh, ooh. <laughs> anyways um yeah so i'm gonna make myself breakfast slice of toast a nanner bottle of water once i'm done i'm gonna go oh so um my new exercise now is rudy sit down please that click clack 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 be working my n n n n n n n nerves so i just he want to be close to me but he just does these circles I just be like, sit down, please. Just sit down. Just sit down. You could be here. Just sit down. Um, nonetheless, um, so we have a Peloton bike in my gym upstairs. Rudy, sit. Sit. Thank you. Good boy. Um, we have a Peloton bike in the gym upstairs. I got it clear for my midwife to do about 15 to 20 minutes um, until I work myself up. And yesterday I did it for the first time. I did 20 minutes and the instructor actually said that she was pregnant as well with her first child. So it gave me some confirmation like that this is okay. Um, I didn't get any shortness of breath or any um, soreness or anything but while i was riding i did get um like my the seat hurts so i'm gonna take a pillow or a towel or something so my butt doesn't hurt so i'm gonna do another 20 minutes today um stretch on the ball so doing the big blow up ball and i'll show you guys when i get up there excuse me um it's really good for um stretching the hips and opening the cervix and moving the pelvis around you just kind of do this little number um this little number on it and then go the other way on it um but it's really good for the baby it's really good for my hips just opening up everything so i'm gonna do that for a little while and then you know maybe do some yoga stretches and then <sighs> i have so much stuff that i still need to get done around the house i have three paintings that i need to do so i'm gonna start on those today it may be a part one and a part two to that because i also have a halfway mark ultrasound at three o'clock 
and my mommy's going to be there. So that's going to be exciting. Hopefully they let me record it. If she don't, then I have to uh, respect her process. But hopefully she lets me, um, you know, see the baby so I can show you guys the baby. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have planned for today. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm working on. I'm going to show... That's my nine o'clock alarm. Let me um, get off of here before I get copyrighted for Drake uh, being a legend in my background. But nonetheless, I'll see you guys at the gym and I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and comment and share with a friend. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm back little buddy hello hello <laughs> what were you doing Rudy Rudy you okay that's yeah, so why I try to leave him out 
um, instead of putting him in his kennel when I leave. Just because then he'll just be in the kennel if I'm gone for a couple hours. But it's almost like he'd rather be in the kennel because he barks for like five minutes when I um when I leave him. So I don't know what to do. But I think just 30 minutes at the gym, 30, 45 minutes at the gym, hopefully. Um, he'll kind of get used to it so I can not crate him as much, even though he don't mind it. I actually think he kind of prefers the crate. Sorry, I'm adjusting my camera. Um, but yeah, so I'm back from the gym. Um, I'm about to shower, get ready for the day. Big mama's tired. Uh, I'm not tired so much as just like activity is tiring for a pregnant lady. But nonetheless, um, I'm okay. I'll get my little my little burst of energy and a little, my endomorphins in a little bit. So I'm about to shower and get myself ready for the day. Um, like I said, I, I want to start on my paintings before my ultrasound appointment this morning. Shout out to my girl Miracle Watts for the hat. I've been having this hat for like three years maybe. And um, the Miracle Lifestyle, she makes bomb clothes. She makes, you know, amazing um pieces from y'all he has his christmas outfit on because sometimes in the morning it's really cold but yeah my girl miracle watts um check her out on instagram she has amazing designer pieces um that she makes herself from scratch so love her hey miracle um nonetheless so yep uh, i'm gonna start on some paintings and then i'm gonna go to my ultrasound i'm gonna take you guys with me for as much as i can and stay tuned Rudy's just antsy and it's pansy and it's Santa pansies. Okay, y'all, so this is, I have three paintings that I wanna do for the house. I have two of these that are this size, which is um, 30 by 40 inch. And then, and it's a little more like heavy duty canvas painting. I got all of these from Michaels and I got them on a really good deal because they're not cheap. <laughs> And I probably paid 20, 30 bucks for them. And then I have this one, which is a 24 by 36 inch that I want to put in my restroom um, over my bathtub. And this is just a back staple traditional canvas. And then this is my even bigger project. So I, I've always had this picture on the wall and it was right in the middle, middle of the couch. But then there was a lot of white space right here that was too small for me to put anything in between and then you know just space there which may have been fine but it just wasn't enough for me it's not enough for me so i think i'm gonna put i want to do this painting and i want to kind of make this whole wall a mural with these um this photo collage that i got from amazon so i got um 18 of these actually um that i'm gonna put pictures of family and friends in um i have 18 of them i got they were they were nine for 65 dollars and 12 for like 120 dollars so i just bought two of the nine packs so i got 18 of them for like 130 dollars um so i got i really have a lot of them so i'm trying to place them around the house but nonetheless so my idea is to have a painting here and then put like some of the collage pictures around it and then lift that painting up a little more so this whole wall will be covered hopefully it doesn't look too cluttered but we'll see i'm going to give you guys a better idea of what i mean because i'm going to lay it out on the carpet so watch this so this is my vision this is my vision for this wall so on the floor it looks okay i really love this what i'm really more nervous about is what this big painting those two big paintings um on the same wall plus that big mirror is going to look like all together but it's only one way to find out i can always take the picture down and maybe just make more of a collage on the side or rework it somehow but that's my vision so i want to show you guys the idea um that i have for this painting i'm just going to go on this wall um, which I got the idea from Raven Elise. It's one of she's a she's a YouTuber, and she did a DIY for a restoration hardware dupe that I really 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 loved. Um, so I'm gonna try that on this one, and then for this one I'm gonna put in my room 
which is another restoration hardware dupe. I'll try to post uh, pictures somewhere on the screen. Um, and so that's going to be another one that's going to go in my bedroom. And then this last one, like I said, is going to go in the restroom. Let me show you guys above my, above my, right here, tub. So, and that one is a dupe from a store that I found in, um, on YouTube, a girl that purchased the canvas on YouTube. It was only a hundred dollars, but then when I went to purchase it, it was only in Canada. So I end up, um, not being able to buy it, but you know what? Life works that way. So it's more creative that I could just go ahead and try to do it myself since I bought all of this stuff. So let me show you guys the tools that I'll be using. Okay. So most of this stuff I got from Walmart, Wallet World. I got these two paints from Walmart. Um, they're called, they're from Apple Barrel. And I think they were like maybe five or six dollars each. Um, I got white and I got black. <laughs> Simple as that. Now, Raven Elise did mix the white with like an off white. So I may go run to the art store because it did kind of make sense. It's going to be like a stark flat white with this by itself. Girl, look at these boobies. <laughs> Little baby giving me some cleavage. <laughs> okay, sidetrack. Um, yeah, so y'all look at this. Ooh, I can't even focus. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I also got um, this paint tray from Walmart as well to kind of collect the paint so I'm not getting it everywhere because I do have it on a random white sheet that I had in my house. And then I got, I went to Lowe's and I got paint brushes. So I have this really, really big paint brush that's a five inch paint, paint brush, it's more for full canvas painting. And then I got this one, which is a three inch brush for like smaller strokes. So these are gonna come in handy for the different ideas that I have. And then I also got Spackle because um, she on the Restoration Hardware dupes, it's a lot of texture in the, um, on, the can on the actual canvas so it doesn't look so flat. So this is Alex Plus Spackling that I got from Lowe's and I think it was like six dollars and I also got the spackling tool putty knife it's called a putty knife I got the three inch to like I mean I'll, I'll obviously show you guys once I'm doing the actual painting but um yeah so that's what these are for and then I also got some little paint brushes from Walmart that I'm not sure what I need them for yet but details um yeah so I got two extra ones so I got two of each and yeah so that's gonna be my project for today um i think i'm gonna start with the um restroom painting first because i need to paint the whole canvas black and then do white strokes on top so i'm gonna paint that black let it dry and then i'm gonna go try to find an art store close by me to see if i can find some type of paint that will allow me to uh, enhance the white where it's not so chalky. roller to make this easier but I don't see it so I oh, look how goopy and goopy that is um so I think I'm going to have to use this which I didn't really want to but because I know I'm going to use it for white paint later I guess in black paint too so it's okay 
but we're gonna see. Hopefully I can keep Rudy off because clearly he wants to be a part of my art project so bad that he came back up. Get off, get off. All right, so here goes nothing. Eee. Move Rudy, please, thank you. Okay. This is art right here, baby. This is art right here. I'm gonna bring you guys in closer so you can see more of the art and less of me. But now I already see how good this is about to come out just by the way that the paint strokes is and the way that um, the brush is handling the paint. Let me bring you guys closer so you can see so yeah, I think this looks really good. So far, so good. I'm gonna just cover the whole thing black anyway. But I love the, how smooth the paint is. And I love how um, I don't have to work so hard to paint it. The, the, the brush is big enough to like really cover the whole canvas with the short <laughs> few strokey dokey dokes. And there's no bad smell. So, you guys are worried about that? This is acrylic paint. Not that I know the difference between any other paint, um, but this is acrylic paint. So yeah. Yeah, this sheet is definitely gonna get ruined. So I gotta get to the nitty gritty. Oh. Now what I don't want is it on my floor. Now that didn't even take much paint at all. Literally, I probably won't even need all of those, um, both of those bottles for all of these pictures. But I love the strokes. I even love the bubbles that are popping up in here because it just gives it like its own identity. Which I think is really cool when it comes to art. I think that's what art is all about, right? This is dark and moody. I think it's important to go in the same direction instead of painting all over because you don't want to see those lines of demarcation. And maybe even doing a couple coats to make sure it dries evenly. But yeah, man, so far so good. This is therapeutic almost. Okay, now getting the edges with this big ass brush might be a little difficult, but we gonna see. Okay. Nice guys with that. All right, it is fully covered. So obviously I have to let that dry. All right guys, things are getting a little messy because um, I stepped on the damn painting so I got paint on my floor. So I will also be looking for paint remover. But now I'm about to work on the second painting, which in the second painting um, of the next two paintings, I'm gonna be using the spackle because it's textured and um one of them were fully was fully covered with spackle and then the other was actually um 
just lightly covered with spackle so I think I'm gonna do the full covered spackled on on this one since I have it on the sheet and do the lightly covered spackled on the spackle on the other one so I can tilt it against the wall to dry Oof, I just opened it and it's thick um, but okay so this is spackle it's white doesn't have a horrible smell it doesn't have really have a smell at all kind of smells like cocoa butter um but yeah so i'm gonna do this one with the with the putty brush got a little on my hand but hey that's art right um and then um i'm gonna use the putty knife with that i don't know if i should take the sticker off um but yeah so and then while that's drying i'm gonna go ahead and go to the art store and um see if i can find some off-white paint or maybe some uh, she used uh raven used ivory paint but i saw like some grayish paint i want it to be white but i just don't want it i don't want it to be stark white either so we'll see we'll see what i find um but yeah so i'm gonna show you guys this i probably didn't even have to take this off so i'm not gonna stress myself out about it um but yeah let me back this thing up girl big mama having to get up and down is a lot of work mind you guys i have never used spackle a day in my life <laughs> so i have no idea what this is gonna be like but i'm really good at duping things too i love art and i wish that i had my own ideas for it but you know what imitation is the highest form of flattery <laughs> So I've definitely given credit where credit is due, um, but imitation can also inspire and doing things can also inspire. So, you know, hey, I may do this and then come up with something different next time, but I just really loved, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I really love what she did. So I'ma just go for it. So, okay, I'ma take me some spackle what it looks like I'll try to share a little more with you guys and she really just kind of like went in in no particular way and covered the entire canvas so take a little I mean take a lot So don't go out and buy two, three cans thinking that, you know, a little goes a long way. I think this is so freaking cool. so 
easy and i mean honestly i would put this on the wall like this like this looks really really nice i'm here for it so i'm going to do a little detailing on the sides just so they're not flat you know And it's just really all about texture. So, there's no right or wrong way. y'all i probably really love that a little more than i should have but maybe not maybe it's just perfect um i just think that it is so therapeutic because you can't do no wrong it's your picture it's your painting um and it's free handed so you can literally do no wrong so this is what it's looking like so far i'm gonna give you guys a close up and honestly it's so abstract then you can just leave it like this. Like just paint it white and leave it like that. Even if you wanted to paint it, but just to give it smoothness. If you wanted to paint it white, blue, green, orange with a spot in the middle, it would really look nice. Look at the detail. And it's really like, you can do no wrong. Huh, I think I just found me a thug passion. Okay, and so this is the black one. And I don't know if you guys can see, but like right there, I see where it's not fully coated or maybe it's just drying, but I'm gonna put a second coat on it just in case because I don't want any splotchiness. And then I'm gonna freehand this one. Um, and I probably just do it on the rug because I'm not gonna get as crazy as I got with that one. I'm gonna do it a little more lighter on this one. So yeah. I think maybe this one is just drying like that, but I'm, I'm nervous, so I'm just painting anyway. This one is a little more like sporadic. I mean, it's not as fully covered as the other one. So I'm going to just randomly place it and try not to go too crazy. Mm -hmm. Okay, I 
I'm satisfied with that. I'm satisfied with that. I'm gonna leave it alone. Okay, y'all, so we have the lightly painted one, lightly spackled. Then we have the heavy spackled. Let's get into the details. This one as well. And then we have our black canvas, which I'm gonna put one more coat on. It may be okay. I see now it's just drying down that way. Um, it looks a lot better, but I'm just gonna put one more coat just for certainty. Mimi, I'm recording my vlog. Say hi to the people. Hey. <laughs> we are at Sauna Masters huh? for my ultrasound. I have no idea if they're gonna let me record inside. Hopefully they do, but gotta ask first, so we'll see. So YouTube, this is my mommy. Hi. <laughs> What's your name, mom? Mama. Mimi. <laughs> Mimi, mama. They can't call you mama, they can call you Mimi. Y'all can Mimi. call me Mimi. Yeah, y'all can call me Mimi. <laughs> so Mimi, what you want it to be? Um, um, they don't, they don't know what, what they want it to be. <laughs> oh, well I want it, I want it just to be healthy and, well, Parker. To be healthy? No, I said they don't know what it is. They still don't know. Oh, I do have Parker on my Instagram. Parker, unisex name. Yes. See? <laughs> <laughs> Just healthy and um, you healthy. And I'm just excited. This is number 19 for me, y'all. 19 children. Mm-hmm. This my baby. My last one. Yes. Mama, do you remember when I told you I said I didn't even want to, if I ain't have no kids, I'd be okay. Yep. <laughs> what, what did you think about that? I didn't, I, I didn't agree with that. <laughs> you like, ain't say nothing. I was like, Lord, bless her womb. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we done found the culprit, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> the culprit. Why you yep. did that to me? I was me? like, God bless her womb. And I was just drinking when I was saying it. <laughs> Cause you weren't, then you weren't in your, you was in your alter ego. You weren't was, thinking like. I you. was in my right mind. Don't let her take. You. <laughs> hey y'all! So I'm back from my ultrasound, and the baby is doing so good. Everything she has, ten fingers and ten toes and two ears, and we 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 confirmed the sex of the baby. So everything is awesome. I'm so elated that my baby is growing strong so i wanted to share some of the ultrasound pictures with y'all so here are a few so this is the baby blowing bubbles <laughs> and waving hi to you too and the little feety weety <laughs> and legs so yes the baby is growing and developing very well. Um, I did find out that the pain that I was having in my side was not just round ligament pains and I do have a fibroid. Um, so I have to look more into it before I get into too much detail about what it is. But it's a no harm to the baby. It's far enough away from the baby to not cause any issues with the pregnancy. Um, but this is brand new to me so this may be something that you know i just have to be mindful of that you know i'm i'm, I'm a pregnant mama i'm a i'm a black woman and this is common in pregnancies and in black women so there you have it um other than that as far as the diy it's definitely gonna be a part two y'all because i'm definitely tired <laughs> i'm ready to um lay it down and put it to rest Relax a little bit. I gotta edit this video. So I will definitely see you guys tomorrow to finish up the paintings. They look really, really good. And I think it's good to just give it time to fully dry. Um, but so far, so good. I'm excited about it. I didn't even get to go by the art store. So I may do that in the morning. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it to wrap up this video. So we are 
seven days closer to Christmas and two weeks left in 2020. I hope 2021 don't try to play with us, but we're going to find out. Nonetheless, y'all, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the... Don't don't forget to hit that notification bell so y'all know when I do upload and like, comment, and share this video. I've already seen my numbers go up go up since I started Vlogmas. So I appreciate you guys. I see every comment, every like subscriber. So thank you guys so much. Um and you know, happy holidays and we out. Say bye, Rudy. Say bye, Rudy. Say bye bye. She poo-pooey!